Hello and welcome back, this is my final video in my How to Create a Minion series and in this video I'll just finish up the texturing so the eyeball, the strap and the gloves and boots Ok so let's start with the strap and the first thing I should do is smooth these out a bit because we have a bit of a clipping problem over here so I'll just move them out on the Y axis to about there and that looks good Ok so now I'll just unwrap it so I'll go into edge select mode, go into wireframe and then I'll select this loop cut at the top here I'll select this one right at the end and then deselect these back faces of that one back face there and that should be fine so I'll hold um, Control and E to mark seam now that I've done that I'll go back into edit mode, select the whole thing and U and unwrap and that should unwrap nicely so um, yeah let me just go ahead and slide up this slider here and go into the UV image editor no, no sorry I'm in the, the node editor ok cool Ok, I'll go into the material menu here, add a new material, and it's going to be leather, so I'll just name it leather. Ok, um, what we need first is, well let's just set up the foundational um, shader, which will just be a diffuse and a glossy. And of course we'll mix this with a mix shader. Mix shader right here, plug the glossy over there. And there we have 50% diffuse and 50% glossy. Ok so now I'm going to add in an image texture and this is going to be our actual leather texture although what I'm going to do is I'll use the leather texture to control the factor um, between the diffuse and the glossy instead of having a 50% uh, yeah, so I slide over here this factor so I'll just make this um, diffuse color the color I want the color of the leather some, in some um, pictures online it's brown and some it's black so I'll just make mine black, but you can make yours whatever you like. And then I'll also just take down this glossy over here, just to a bit of a grey. But not, not too grey, just to about there. And then I'll go ahead and load in my leather texture. Ok, so I have the texture over here, and there'll be a link in the description below where you can get this. Ok, so before we can use this as a factor um, to control the amount of diffuse and glossy, it needs to be a black and white image, so to do that I'll add in a color ramp and then I'll just filter it through the color ramp and then I'll plug the color ramp into the factor and then let's go ahead and see what this looks like just as it is ok so the texture is actually a little bit too large so in order to scale the texture I need to add in a mapping node and then plug the vector into the vector of our texture but now the mapping node doesn't know what, what it should scale, like I can increase this to 2 and it's not going to do anything because it because it doesn't know if we want to scale on the the generated or the normals or the UVs or something. So in order to tell it what we want to scale, I'll add a texture coordinate, and then I'll plug the UVs into the vector, and then that looks better. Okay, so for the scale, I think three should work fine. Let's have a look at that. I think that looks alright. Maybe actually two point five. Oops, that's not two point five. I think that looks alright. And then I also want to clamp down on the white because at the moment there's way too much white and too little black. So I'll just take the black up to about to about there and then scale down the white. Actually let's bring out the black a little more. Let's see what this looks like with um while it's factoring. Yeah, let's set this to ease instead of linear as well. I think that will help. You can see what I'm getting at here. Just, just trial and error, try to find the right thing that looks normal. Okay, I think it's actually a little bit too large and also I think it's a little too reflective. Um, if there's too much grey, so I actually want to turn down this to about there and make that a little more black. And say something like that. And then also take the scale up a bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm happy with that. I didn't mean to add that um, flag in there. Okay, so I'm happy with that for now. I think that's cool. And then for the gloves and the boots, I'll just go ahead and select the glove. And then I'll select the same texture that I just gave um, the leather texture. But I want We'll need we'll, so we'll need a different scale for the gloves and the boots. So what I'll do is I'll just hit this little plus button, 
and I'll duplicate that shader and make it its own shader so you can see we now have two the leather and then leather.001 okay so all I'm going to do is change the we haven't unwrapped this yet actually so let me go ahead and unwrap this real quick I'll just do something real simple here just something like just something like that and then U for un uh, sorry, mock seams first, mock seams, and then unwrap. Then we change the scale. Actually, the scale looks quite fine as it is. Maybe make it just a little bit. Actually, no, I think that's I think that's alright. I think that's cool. Okay, so I'll add. The same texture to the uh, that glove and the boots. To do that, I'll select them all, and then with the glove being the active selection, I'll just hit Control L, and then I'll make a link to uh, materials. And now they're all of the same material as that glove. And let's have a look at this. I think maybe I made this glossy a bit too dark. Let me just take it up a bit. Yeah, about there, I think that looks real good. Okay, cool. So now we just have to texture the the goggles and then the eyeball and we're good to go. Okay, so for the goggles and the hinges, I'm just going to add a very simple, uh, very clean, glossy shader. Realistically, it would have um, a lot of scratches along the edges and uh, whatnot and a lot of wear and tear and stuff like that. But for this video, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to do a nice, clean, glossy. Okay, so let's add a new texture. Our name is Goggles. Oops, goggle, goggles, plural. Actually, it's not supposed to be plural. There's only one goggle. Okay, and then I'll just go ahead and add in a glossy shader and mix it with the diffuse. Uh, mix shader and plug this into the bottom over there. You could just plug this in straight into the material, the glossy. You see, this will work fine as um, for what we what we want. As you can see, actually we don't have an HDRI image, so we have nothing to for it to reflect. Um, and I think we need something. Oh, actually, maybe maybe that add something. Wait, let me. I forgot if I had an environment texture at the beginning of this tutorial. Did I? I didn't. Okay. So we need an HDRI um, in order for these um, goggles to look nice. So I'll go ahead and add one of those now. Let's just finish this shader. Um, instead of having this a clean glossy uh, material plug straight into the surface output I do want to just give it a little bit of diffuse um, so I'll just make this diffuse shade and mix it at very little like 0 0.05 and then the actually let's let's not do that let's rather give this just straight into here and set this to ggx and then set the roughness to about 0 0.005 yeah, I think that would look better than mixing with a diffuse. Both achieving a similar results. I just wanted it to not look 100% sharp. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description where you can get some free HDRI images. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna go ahead and load one in now. Uh, so all you have to do is click on the world over here, and then um, click use nodes, and then over here keep this at background, and then by color click this little dot and then select environment texture and then open and then look and navigate to your uh, HDR, HDR okay so I have one here but it's a little too strong I think so I'm going to take the brightness down to about 0.5 and that looks quite cool okay awesome I'll give the same material to these hinges over here so uh, just like that with the active selection actually it'll be easier to just select it but, uh, anyway and uh, control L and then materials I could have just given it the texture the long way, because they're both the long way. Okay, so I think that looks good. Um, I think the only thing left to do now is the actual eyeball. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, I won't be able to provide you with the eyeball texture, but if you just search eyeball texture in Google, you should find plenty of them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select my eye over here. Uh, is that it? Yes, that's it. And then give it a new material, and this material will be called I, of course. Okay, so 
I'll just go ahead and add in a image texture of here and then navigate to where I save my eye if I can remember and it's over there eye okay so you'll notice with my eye texture I have a alpha a there it is it's transparent oh, hold on blend it's freezing but okay it's transparent just out of here where the actual eye will be and then over here we have the pupil and the iris um which is the, the actual texture so this is the only thing here and then over here where the alpha is this will be the actual eyeball which i'll um i will just use a, a diffuse node over here um which will make sense now when i actually do it okay so if i just unwrap this eyeball as it is it should unwrap perfectly because it's a very simple object and um let's see if it did uh, yeah that looks good okay so you can see if i plug the alpha um, over there, you can see where it's black that's the alpha and where it's white that's not the alpha. And then I'll, I'll keep the color into the diffuse for now. And then what I want to do is add in a, man, what do I want to do? Add in a, a mix RGB just over here. I've, and then I'll d duplicate this diffuse and plug it into the, wait, no, sorry, I'm doing this wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, what I want to do is add in a mix shader and then plug the alpha into the factor of the mix shader and then duplicate this diffuse and plug the diffuse into the bottom. Oh, that's because that will be the top inputs of the mix shader and then swap these around. And there we go. So now this over here is what you see with the actual owl. So I can change the color so you can see what it's actually doing. So that's that over there, and then this is the actual pupil. So I want this diffuse to be just a little bit off-white. Uh, like a bit of a yellowish color, just something like that. Maybe that's a bit too extreme, but I think you see where I'm getting at, because an eyeball is actually not white at all. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Um, another thing we should do actually is give it a, um, a, glossy, a glossy element. So for that, I'm just going to go ahead and separate this out a bit. Because I want a different gloss for the iris as I do the actual eye wall. Because it's going to be sharp over here and then a little bit diffused over here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'll add in a mix shader over here by the... Uh, hold on, this is what, yeah, over here, just where the diffuse goes into the mix shader. What the heck, I lost my shader. It's gone. Oh, I don't know where that went. Uh, let me try that again. A mix shader. Just over here. I just can't seem to catch it at the moment. Okay, I'll just do it by myself. Okay, just like that. And then in there. And then I want to do the same thing over here. And then I want to mix them with each with a glossy. So a glossy over here. Plug into the bottom input. And then a glue. Glossy over here, plugging into the the bottom. Okay, so like I said, I want the outside, the actual eyeball, to be a little bit more diffused. So I'll just go ahead and drag the slider down so it's more glossy than diffuse. It's down the right way, or it's up? No, down the right way. So about point, about point one, and then still looks really. No, that's actually right, okay. And then I'll also just take the... I think I can keep this mix shader at 0.5 and then just take down this roughness to about 0 0.4. Um, no, that's too much, 0 0.1. Nope, 0 0.05. How does that look? Um, 0? Yeah, that's a bit tricky. That's a bit tricky because I don't want to make it too too glossy so you can see it like that, but I mean in realistically eyeballs are like that, but the minion's eyeball is just so big it would be really distracting. You'll be able to see like a perfect mirror image of yourself. But I think I'll keep it at about 0 0.009. I, th I think that looks alright. Okay, so I think that's it for the eyeball. And um I think that's I think that maybe the eyeball is actually a little bit too uh, too large, but you can adjust that by using by hooking this up to a mapping node and then the texture coordinate much like we did with the texture on the 
the strap over here. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, then please like and subscribe and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making a lot more Blender videos. Um, so uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Bye.